all want to get those sick, filthy pumps in the gym and maximize our gains. Will AAKG do just that? The No Fake Channel, checking in. Jonathan here, and today I am reviewing Arginine Alpha Keto Glutarate AAKG. What it is, how it works, does it work, and if you should take it. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome aboard. I cover men's health, fitness, and lifestyle. And every week I do a supplement review. And for those of you not familiar with arginine, it is considered a semi-essential amino acid. It is supposed to support protein synthesis. Whoa. Arginine also supports the synthesis of nitric oxide in the body, which widens blood vessels and improves blood flow. It's also thought to help increase your stores of creatine and glutamine in the body. And it's thought to be a performance enhancer. AAKG is more bioavailable. It helps get through the digestion process of your stomach and it allows for a more steady stream uh, distribution of arginine into your system. All of that sounds a little too good to be true. Let's take a step back and look at the clinical research to see if there's any truth to many of those claims. As far as athletic performance, there is some evidence to show a slight improvement with large amounts of AAKG in terms of athletic performance. For my personal use, I didn't really notice any benefit, but again, most of the clinical research shows that the improvement is extremely slight. Now, many people believe that supplementing with nitric oxide boosting supplements will help you maximize and improve protein synthesis, the ability to gain muscle after you train. And based on the research that I was looking at, there's no clinical proof to show that more arginine or more nitric oxide in your system is going to lead towards bigger gains post-workout. Does AAKG improve blood flow? We all get to the gym, we wanna get those gnarly Instagram pumps. Yeah, AAKG absolutely delivers, at least in my personal experience. I've been supplementing with this for almost two weeks now, and there is a big difference from when I add this in to when I don't, keeping the workout and my diet 100% the same. Bios AAKG, one bottle, 143 servings. Each serving is 3.5 grams, coming in at 22 cents per serving with my code NOFATE2477. That second seven is for savings. As far as the company, I'm a big fan. They have third-party testing, label transparency. They make all of their own products in a certified GMP facility. And frankly, they're the top of the top. When it comes to supplements, I'm a big fan of getting individual ingredients. I think it's an easier way and probably a more accurate way to tailor your supplements specifically to you. I will say it tends to be more expensive per ingredient rather than buying one product that has a whole bunch of stuff mixed in but obviously it allows you to not get some of the ingredients mixed in that you might not want. Now, when it comes to pumps in the gym, some people believe that you wanna go maximum dosage on individual pump ingredients. And I am a big believer that you should be trying to get more pump ingredients at smaller dosages. I think my body, and I think yours will too, reacts a lot better to different pathways allowing for blood flow and, and just more vasculinity in the gym. But that's my personal preference. Now, if you came this far in the video, drop in the comments below your personal thoughts on AAKG. Have you used it? Are you, you thinking of using it? Is it something that you've seen benefits from? Or is it just something that many of us can do without? I'm always curious your opinion. Now, if you made it this far in the video, you and I are officially best friends. That's right, we are Tango and Cash, band of brothers Rudolph and Santa. Hopefully you found this video fun and informative. As usual, give the video a like, hit the subscribe button, and don't save anything for the trip back.